everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Kylie Cosmetics Matte Liquid Lipsticks. These are six brand new shades that she released. If you do want to see a review and a demo, then please keep watching. As a huge favor, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment anything down below. I greatly appreciate it. I read all the comments and I will do my best to reply back. Each matte liquid lipstick retails for $18 on KylieCosmetics.com. I do want to read a little bit about these matte liquid lipsticks on her website. My matte liquid lipstick lets you create a gorgeous matte lip. The highly pigmented formula glides on effortlessly, delivering full coverage and 8 hour wear without drying lips. This lightweight lipstick is comfortable to wear and available in a wide range of shades. I'm not a huge fan of this formula, but I received so many DMs asking me to swatch these. Here's the box that the lipsticks came in, and then here's what the inside looks like. Inside of the box, it says Kylie, and then below it, it says Kylie Jenner. It came with a sticker sheet. Here's what the stickers look like. This is the first time I've ever received free stickers from Kylie Cosmetics. Here's what the inside of the box looks like. It says Kylie on it with this tissue paper. They We've never done this before in the past. Well, I don't think so. Here's what all six shades look like inside. Here's a closer look on what the packaging looks like. It says Kylie in the center. Below that, it says Kylie Jenner. And then underneath that, it says matte liquid lipstick. You get 0.10 fluid ounces or three milliliters of product. Up at the top, you have the shade name. This shade is called 114 Almost Ready. On this side of the packaging, there isn't anything printed. On this side, it just says matte liquid lipstick, and then it says it in a different language, and then right below that, it says eight hour wear, and it's vegan. On the back, it has the list of ingredients. It states it was made in the USA, and it has an 18 month shelf life. Let's see what the shade in Almost Ready looks like. Inside of the packaging, you have the signature lip logo. Here's what the lipstick tube looks like. It says Kylie. Underneath that, it says Kylie Jenner. Down at the bottom, you have the shade name printed. Here's what the doe foot applicator looks like. Here's what the shade in Almost Ready looks like. There aren't any descriptions online. This shade is gorgeous. Here's what the shade in Almost Ready looks like. This shade is gorgeous. The next shade is called 346 A Moment. Here's what the shade in A Moment looks like. This shade might be a little bit too light for my skin tone, but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the shade A Moment looks like. This shade applied very patchy and streaky on my lips. I had a hard time applying an even coat, but here's what it looks like dried down. It does look extremely drying on my lips. It dried down a little bit uneven, plus this shade is too light for my skin complexion. The next shade is called 621 Not In The Mood. Here's what not in the mood looks like. This shade is really pretty as well. Here's what the shade in not in the mood looks like. This shade is gorgeous as well. The next shade is called 623 Clapback. Here's what Clapback looks like. Again, another beautiful shade. Here's what the shade in Clapback looks like. This shade is stunning as well. The second to last shade is called 736 On Brand. Here's what On Brand looks like. I feel like this shade would wash me out, but let's see what it looks like applied on the lips. Here's what the shade in On Brand looks like. Again, this shade is too light for my skin complexion, plus it applied very patchy and uneven on my lips. The last shade is number 820, Another Day, Another Nude.
Again, this shade would be too light for my skin tone. Here's what the last shade in Another Day, Another Nude looks like. I had the same issue applying an even coat. I would not recommend these three lighter shades. I loved how these three shades looked on my lips. This shade in clapback, not in the mood, and almost ready. Again, I don't like this formula. It's not lasting throughout my day. It does flake off and looks very drying on the lips. Here's what all six shades look like swatched on the back of my hand. These are dried down completely there is no transfer. If you're looking for a good long-lasting matte liquid lip, I would recommend KVD, ABH, and NYX. Let me know in the comments down below which shade was your favorite, and if you guys did enjoy this video, please go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and if you haven't already, please do subscribe. I will see you guys in my next video.